Hi everyone, this is Vivek Dwedi, 4th year integrated MSc in chemistry at NYSA. In this video, I am going to tell you, number one, what to do in last days of IIT 2021 exam. Number two, how you can convert your negative marks into positive marks. I know a lot of you lose marks while getting negative marks, right? You do uh, about 20 questions, but out of that, about 10 questions, you get negative marks. As a result, you lose 10 marks. So as you know that not a lot of time is remaining right now, what I highly suggest you to do, whether you do anything or not, whether you have completed your backlogs or not, whether you have covered all the syllabus, whether uh, you know done all the things you have planned, what I want to tell you is, please do the previous year papers without any chance of missing it. Please do not leave previous year papers at all. There are just four previous year papers which are available. You can get in my telegram channel and all. So please do not leave previous year papers. They are the most important part of preparation for any kind of competitive exam. Whether you do mock test, whether you do uh, a lot of practice, you know, question banks and all. I don't care about that. But personally, I request you not to leave previous year papers. You can get all the solutions if you wish and answer key in my telegram channel and courses. So do not leave previous year papers. That is something that is going to help you most, the most in last 10 days for your IIT 2021 preparation. Now, apart from that, what can you do? What you should do is solve as much as mock test you can because First priority should be previous year papers. Second priority should be solving as much as mock test you can. Now, a lot of people where you guys face problem, you try to give mock test, but then you guys are not able to score good and you get demotivated, right? Let me tell you the positive side why I am focusing so much on previous year paper and mock test. The reason is that you cannot read a lot of theory in last days. And even if you read it, the question in actual exam, if you have not practiced how to use your brain to solve new kind of question in, you know, just two, three minutes, there is no point in reading all the theory because ultimately in the exam, they are not going to ask theory. They are going to ask competitive questions, right? So you need to have and develop that practice of solving question, question, problem solving skill. Now, the important part comes with analyzing it and that is where i want to tell you that how you can convert your negative marks into positive marks so first of all understand the reason why you're getting even negative marks right first of all make sure that you're not doing you know just attempting anything if you know that a particular question is not in your level you don't you don't know the concept behind it don't attempt it and obviously i hope you guys are intelligent enough not to get negative marks but still a lot of you get negative marks because number one you know the concept and you try to attempt the question right you thought that if you attempt the question and if you do it you will be able to do it basically you try to give your best in that question right but after the paper or mock test ended you saw in the solution that no what you chose was wrong and number two reason can be that you might have made some silly mistakes you did everything correctly in the solution you know while solving uh, the question but in some step of your uh, problem solving solution you made some silly mistakes silly mistakes are not so easy to avoid so what you should do is understand where you're making silly mistake. That is one part. Second part is the negative marks which you're getting. That means you thought you know this concept, right? That means you don't need to work on that concept as much as you will need to work on a new concept, right? Are you able to understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is if you got negative marks in some question, that means you thought you know the concept and that is why you attempted it. And then you made some mistake and you got negative marks. So the good part about those questions where you got negative marks is that you already know some basic understanding of that question or you already have, you know, a basic understanding of the concept in that question. So what you should do is try and find out what is the mistake you made because it is just that one thing which is stopping you from getting three marks to getting minus one marks that is something which is leading you to minus one mark right so it is much easier you know to score in the actual exam if you have analyzed your negative marks in the mock test then it is to you know read new kind of theory new kind of questions and then try to understand the concept and do it 
so ultimately the questions where you getting ne negative marks means you already know the fundamental understanding of the concept you're just making some mistakes so let's take an example for example you attempted a particular mock test on my course in my telegram channel uh, in physics chemistry maths and bio that full length mock test and in that you did uh, three questions you got three question negative marks in bio you did minus five in chemistry you did minus 10 in physics for example and minus four in maths like that so so basically you did minus three in bio because you thought you will be able to do, do those three questions even if you improve just those three concepts right and those 10 concepts in physics those just five concepts in chemistry and just four concepts in math what will happen is it will take lesser time to master those concepts than any other kind of questions where you could not even attempt it right so after attempting the mock test i hope you are able to understand first try to analyze where you made mistakes and try to convert the negative marks into the positive marks and second then only go for the questions where you could not attempt so while analyzing let me summarize again after you have attempted the previous papers and mock test first try to focus to reduce your negative marks and try to convert those negative marks into positive marks because it will take lesser effort you already know the theory behind it and then keep the second priority to analyzing uh, why you could not attempt certain questions what was in the question that you could not understand so i hope this made sense to you uh, and why i told you this is because question to theory approach first you do question then do theory which is going to help you in last 10 days of iit 2021 i hope this video was useful to you if yes please like it because that will encourage me to make more of such videos and also help the youtube algorithm to spread this video so with that all the best